What's going on YouTube? Well, I didn't want to really introduce this car this way. Um, this is my 2006 Audi A4, um, and I was going to actually make a whole video about how I think it is the best like $10,000 daily driver you can buy uh, right now. Um, my buddy and I went out on Wednesday night to Winking Lizard. We were talking about how um, we just love this Audi A4 and how it's just a great car. It's been really reliable. Um, it's been really fun. And then Thursday morning, this was my drive to work. Well, this isn't good. I feel like I have a coil pack go. I'm just going to try to get it up here on the, at this off ramp. You can hear it running rough. There we go. Now I just have a solid check engine light. Okay. I'm going to see if I can turn it off and then maybe restart it. I don't know. Back to stock you go. Back to stock you go. So as you can see there, um, I had the scary check engine light flashing um, scene where, you know, you're a car guy, you know, if it's a solid check engine light, pfft, you can wait, it'll be fine. Um, but a flashing one's usually like, you better stop the car right now, um, immediately, you know? So it started to shake violently. The whole engine was shaking violently and I had barely any power. I was actually going up a hill at this time I barely could make it even up the hill. So it was pretty nerve wracking uh, trying to get up this hill and the motor was like bogging and barely revving up um, to get me accelerating. So then I get off the off ramp and it's barely idling. Um, it's idling, but still it's running rough and you could tell it was only running on the three cylinders and not the four. Uh, kind of sounded like a Harley. Um, so you could tell there was just something not correct. Luckily, I've done a lot of research and I have to say I have a big shout out to all these forums out there like AudiZine. Uh, they really do save your butt on these cars and um, you can immediately tell it was a coil pack failure. So, uh, so uh, you know, I barely made it to work, barely made it home, but then I immediately swapped it out uh, by when going to the dealer in the morning. The dealer did have a coil pack in stock. They charged me $55 for one coil. So um, I knew that that was a bit expensive and I mean, I get it, it's a genuine Audi part, which I will replace them with, but still um, expensive. Dealerships are always gonna mark it up. Okay, we're at the dealership and this is what I got. Um, I only got one at this time because I wanna limp it at least for the next day. And then this weekend, I'm gonna order a complete kit from ECS Tuning with spark plugs and four new coils. So this one can just kind of be my backup for now. It was $50 for one at the Audi dealership, but once again, I gotta be able to make it to work today. <laughs> okay, so here's the Audi, Audi down. Um, cylinder two on my uh, code reader said that it's misfiring. So let me show you guys that. Okay, so this is the code I'm getting. That P302, that cylinder two misfire. So cylinder two is the one that's not running correctly. And once again, like I said, I'm gonna replace the coil pack. This is cylinder two. So let's replace it and see what happens. Okay, first thing we have to do is loosen these little screws here so that we can get to the coil pack. So I took off these screws and now this is just a little clip system. We should be able to just unclip these, clip, 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 pull this out and then take out cylinder two. So some of my tabs were really brittle. Um, you have to click this little tab down to take it off this, um, the coil pack. And some of them were really brittle and even snapped. Um, this engine makes a lot of heat. It's also 12 years old, so you know things are gonna happen. Looks like I'll be getting a whole new um, one of these, and um, I'm just gonna get all new four coil packs here soon anyway. Okay, so I have cylinder two um, coil pack out, and out with the old, in with the new. 
Okay, so I got the new coil pack in there, um, connected everything. I didn't screw everything in, I just still wanna make sure that this is the problem. So let's give her a start and see if she's running smooth. Okay, so we just replaced the coil packs and let's see if this is the issue. Wahoo, that was it. Now we'll clear the code and make sure it doesn't come back. Yes, so glad that was it. Here's my OBD2 reader. Gonna plug it in the OBD port. There we go, it's blinking. And as you can see, it says, please wait. And it's downloading the ECU information. And then we will be able to clear the code. Okay, so finally we got the connection successful. Now I want you guys to be able to see the um, check engine light, diagnostic, trouble codes. You're gonna be able to see the old code that I had. There it is. Um, see, uh, cylinder two, cylinder two, let's clear them. Okay. And then there's my check engine light. As you can see, it went away. And now I'm just gonna take her for a drive and make sure she's doing all right. Well, everyone, the Audi is fixed. I'm glad that she is running smooth. But this is my 2006 Audi A4, two liter turbo. Um, a lot of things have been done to it. Um, I'm gonna make a whole video going over the whole car and uh, why I think it is the best $10,000 car you can buy on the market. Um, it's fun, you can actually make them really fast with uh, supporting mods and tunes. That said, as you can see in this video, it might just lead to more maintenance. So, um, I went to the dealership and it was $55 for one coil from the dealership. And I had to get to work that day. So I said, okay, I just want one. And they're talking me into, you should get four, you should replace four. Not at 55 bucks a pop though. So I got one um, and swapped it out really quickly. And then, I immediately went to ECS Tuning. So if you have a Volkswagen, Audi, uh, BMW, they do a bunch of makes, and mostly you know, German cars, and they have everything you can think of. Uh, everything from, from anything, from wheels to engine components. So um, typed in there, coil pack kits, and they had this great kit that I immediately purchased and I'll be installing next week. I'll make a whole video about that. It's even a whole new like a wiring loom that goes to the, the coils and then new plugs as well. The car has 54,000 miles on it right now. So it's probably time to do plugs and coil packs. Uh, these coil packs, they do fail um, on all the forms. They say it's actually quite common. This car is also tuned. Um, so that can you know prematurely wear uh, these items out. So let me show you what I actually got from ECS tuning. Okay, so this is what I ordered from ECS Tuning. It comes with, as you can see, four coil packs, um, the harness up here that feeds those coil packs, four plugs, all the tools and accessories to do it all, all for 220. So I think that's a pretty good deal. At the dealership, $220 only would have gotten me all four coils. So I'm getting plugs, the harness up here, and then um, all the tools to do it myself. It's really an easy job especially with these little four cylinders. So I will be making a video next week on me replacing the coil packs on my Audi A4. Like I said, guys, you know, this car, um, I really enjoy it and I'm gonna make a whole video on why I think it is the best uh, $10,000 daily driver you can buy. Okay guys, like what I said, I will be making a whole video about why I love this car and every single mod I've done to it. I've done everything from coilovers, stage one tune, exhaust, wheels, um, you know, just the typical things you do with these Audis. So I'll make a whole video about why I love it and why I think it is one of the best daily drivers. Sadly, uh, this video is about me fixing it, but it's a quick and easy fix. And I'll even talk about, that's another reason why I love this car. 
four cylinder, pretty easy to work on. So I'm gonna get that ordered and uh, get that place, have it shipped in here on Monday and start working on it on Tuesday. Uh, like I said, do work exotics. I'm posting these new videos, about three videos a week. So feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.